I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso, and on this day in weather history, August 17, 1969, Hurricane Camille made landfall at the mouth of the Mississippi River. Camille emerged as a tropical wave off Africa in early August and tracked westward over the Atlantic. The storm formed on August 14th and passed through Cuba as a small hurricane. It then rapidly intensified over the Gulf of Mexico. The morning of the 17th, hurricane hunters recorded a low pressure of 905 millibars, the lowest ever recorded, second to that of the Labor Day hurricane of 1935. A 24-foot storm surge flattened everything along the coast of Mississippi. One debatable account of Camille was an infamous hurricane party at the Rochelle Manor Apartments in past Christian, Mississippi during the passage of the eye wall as it made landfall. Camille completely washed away the structure and only one survivor remained to share the tale. Camille was the equivalent of a Category 5 on the Safford Simpson scale, which had yet to be developed. However, the massive amount of devastation inspired the creation of the scale, which offered a more detailed approach on past and future storms, measuring intensity more than barometric pressure and wind speed. This allowed citizens to become better prepared for an incoming storm. The storm quickly weakened as it moved inland. However, it dumped heavy rain on the mid-Atlantic states before finally being dissolved by cold air south of Atlantic Canada. Camille caused 259 deaths and $1.42 billion damage at the time. It was the second of three apocalyptic Category 5 hurricanes to make landfall in the 20th century and is the only hurricane recognized for reaching record sustained winds of at least 190 miles per hour until Allen tied it in 1980. It remains the only Atlantic system in recorded history to make landfall on or above that level of wind speed. I'm Mark Mancuso.